The controversial issue of that cosmetic surgery rider for Buffalo school teachers back on the front burner tonight. Cosmetic surgery spending in the school district going from $5 million in 2012 to $5.4 million last year. The story now making national headlines as well. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Katie Morse here now with the latest. Katie. Jeff, the president of the Buffalo Teachers Federation says teachers are more than willing to give up that cosmetic surgery rider once they get a contract, which they haven't had in more than 10 years. District officials say they've been trying to get teachers to agree to drop the cosmetic rider without a contract settlement, but the union is not willing to do that. The last teacher's contract expired in 2004. The union says the district needs to agree to smaller class sizes and increasing teacher salaries, saying Buffalo teachers are $20,000 behind teachers in other districts. The Buffalo School District wants to deal with that cosmetic surgery rider separately from contract negotiations, but the union says that's not happening. We've told them it's gone once we reach closure. A fact finder that was appointed by the state came in and said it should be gone, there should be other changes in deductibles, and there should be some raises for teachers, etc. The board turned it down. So who's the one that's dragging their feet on this? It's certainly not us. It has not been that long since we've had the conversation. It's just that the, the union leadership has not been willing to settle just this piece of it in a separate agreement. It, it's only been willing to, just, to talk about it as part of the entire package. The largest cosmetic expense is chemical peels, and the district says there are 87 people who use the cosmetic rider who got more than $10,000 in plastic surgery each in the past year alone. In the studio, Katie Morse, 7 Eyewitness News.